hypoxia has been really fascinating to us. Um, you know, what we start to learn in the lab in one of the, one of the uh, young faculty member who's working with me is starting to use these hypoxic chambers, you know, which give you the opportunity to look at 1% oxygen, you know, 5%, 12%, or, you know, what's in room air, you know, a regular incubator. And what we're starting to understand is that hypoxia is really changing the function of NK cells. Um, I think we didn't know this. We assumed that hypoxia is bad for NK cell function, but now we have very clear data to show that that's true. You know, and I think you're asking the question because hypoxia is really important in the solid tumor microenvironment, which is a big topic at SITSI. Um, we know that uh, in the bone marrow, the oxygen content's about 5%. In the blood, it's about 12%. But in the hypoxic tumor environment, it's about 1%. So we know that the metabolic activity of NK cells, the ability to kill and to proliferate, is really different at 1%. We're starting to get a little bit of preliminary data that there are ways to overcome this hypoxia, and this is where the translational elements might be important, including the IL-15 signal is, I think, very important for this. So I think what it's taught us is, you know, we've used standard incubators to study biologic functions for two decades now, and now we're redoing all of our experiments under hypoxia and finding that the results are very, very different. I hope this is going to have an impact in understanding how to take these biologic immunology principles and to try to translate them into better human therapies.